everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome I'm Nicole Chantel if you like beauty reviews wig reviews makeup hauls and even updates on me shaving my head and now me having videos of going through withdrawals coming up of on a no buy that should be interesting if you like all those kind of videos plus the 31 days of Halloween go ahead and click that subscribe button I am testing out my DIY backdrop I know there's a few little wrinkles, but we're going to ignore that today. So today we are going to do a Valentine's look. So happy Valentine's to each and every one of you. I hope you have a great day with your loved ones and I hope you have lots of chocolate. <laughs> so this is an eyeshadow palette that I came across on Instagram. I was like, hmm, I really want to try that. Now, just to let you guys know, I did buy this before February. So it's, I'm still technically in a no buy kind of mood <laughs> but anyhow when I seen this on Instagram I was like oh my goodness I really want to try this brand my goal is after my no buy I really want to try brands that nobody really talks about or they're really underrated indie companies let's say because you know I always buy stuff at Sephora or Walmart or shoppers or even order online to Mac as well so I kind of want to go out and kind of spread my makeup arms let's just say and try new brands so this is by the company called Carity and this eyeshadow palette here is called Posh now I did pay $44 Canadian which was really really good price I was like okay yes please I'm going to be inserting swatches before I actually start the Valentine's look as well and of course you could go ahead and add them on Instagram uh, at Carity and then on Facebook and Snapchat it's Carity Beauty I'll have all their information listed down below for you guys so this eyeshadow palette comes in 20 highly pigmented eyeshadows and six finishes we have a frost matte satin velvet metallic and duochrome so on the back of the box here it does say we crafted this palette for those who dare to be different and to stand out well, I'm definitely different, and I guess I like to stand out with my head shaved. <laughs> but also, just to let you guys know that it is cruelty-free and vegan as well, so that's a bonus. They packaged it really nice in a nice box, and then they put it in this bubble wrap with their logo on it, which I thought was really nice because it really secured the palette. Because sometimes when I get products, you know, if they're not packaged properly and not handled right, they're going to just end up broken. So I really do appreciate it when a company really takes good care of their product and packs it really well. Besides the box being beautiful, this palette is stunning. So it's black velvet and it has the gold writing. Really reminds me of the Anastasia Prism palette, like that beautiful black velvet with the writing. Really, really gorgeous. The shades in here are so beautiful, as you've seen from the swatches. When I swatched them, they were just like putting my fingers in butter. So, so pretty. This palette also reminds me of the Tardis Pro palette with the layout of the palette as well. I'm going to pop up a picture because that palette I have is upstairs, so then you guys could actually see it, what I'm talking about. But I really feel like it's the same kind of layout. I love that you have these big size pans and then these smaller ones as well. And it also comes with a nice size mirror, which is the same size as the lid. So now I'm going to go ahead and create a very sweet, beautiful Valentine's look for you guys. I will be popping up the names of each shadow here on the screen for you guys to see what ones I'm using. And then at the end, when I'm completed the look, I will let you know how well the shadow played out how will they blend if there was any fallout if they become patchy and all that good stuff so let's jump into this beautiful sweet Valentine's look
So you guys, here's the final look that I created with the Carity Posh palette. Now, what are my honest thoughts about this palette? I do like it. Now, I will have to say that where it's velvet, it is going to get pretty dirty really quickly, just like the Anastasia palettes where they have that beautiful velvet. It's gorgeous, but it will get dirty, um, but I'm okay with that. Now, with some shades, they did apply easiest when you applied it with the finger, more so than when you applied it with the brush. Like this shade here, Shirley, that I did apply to all over my lid. Beautiful, beautiful shade, but it just applied a lot better when you applied it with your finger than you did your brush. Like some of the Beauty, beauty palettes, you know, some shades are applied best with the finger than they are brush. Now for the matte shades, they are absolutely beautiful. I really love them. They blended out so easy, applied really nice, like and really pigmented as well. Now there was a tiny little bit of fallout, but nothing that was like really over like over the top fallout. But all in all, I really love these shades in this palette. Really beautiful. I'm happy that I seen it on Instagram and I'm really happy that I did purchase it to add it to my collection. And I'm really impressed with the look that I came up with today because I always tend to go for matte shades and I kind of want to get out of the box. I kind of want to go into the metallics and the dual chromes and more glittery and sparkly looks for you guys. So it's nice to go outside of your comfort zone. But all in all, I'm really impressed with this palette. If you guys go ahead and order this palette or if you already have it, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And I really hope you enjoyed this sweet Valentine's Day look. If you guys go ahead and recreate this, don't forget to tag me over on Instagram and Nicole Chantel. 32. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!